Good. You're awake. Don't try to move. And well, it would be pointless, so I, I tied you up. No, 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 darling, don't freak out. Please, stop struggling. I'm not going to hurt you, after all. You're too important to me. That's right, I, I brought you here so we could be together. Listen, um, before I remove the blindfold, we need to talk. I understand you might be confused and frightened, but I really mean you no harm. Will you at least hear me out? If you listen to my story and decide you don't want to stay with me, then... Then I'll let you go. I promise. As long as you give me this chance. Really? All right. My life hasn't been very easy. Lots of traveling in very cramped spaces, people coming from miles around to see me without ever really seeing me. Thousands of miles away from my home and my family. It makes a girl lonely. Very, very lonely. I wasn't in control of my own life, you see. No choice but to go along, to do whatever was asked of me. And that's no way to spend a life. I wanted something normal. A chance to be a regular girl. Have a boyfriend. Have my first kiss. Feel the first sparks of the flames of love igniting inside my heart, but there was nothing. There was only cold and damp and dark. The unsympathetic eyes of those who came to see me, not a single one of them caring about my plight. It was that way for many years. New places, new faces, but the people almost always the same. And then one day, someone different came to see me. With a large group of others, he still stood out. Came right over, looked me up and down, and said, the five words that awakened me from my long, dreamless slumber. You must be so lonely. Spoken without malice, without pity, simply an observation from one lonely soul to another, and I was moved. You couldn't see it, but I wept. Tears staining my cheeks. For the first time in my life, I felt that spark. The one I'd been dreaming of for so long. I opened my eyes to see who had reached through the dark tendrils of my sleep to pull me forward. And I saw you. I tried to speak, to thank you, to ask your name and tell you how you'd made me feel but you turned away from me, went back to your group. I couldn't speak. My lips hadn't moved in so long, my tongue a dry and heavy thing inside my parched mouth. I wanted to cry as you moved away. I wanted to call for you to come back, but I couldn't. So, I reached deep within myself and remembered the magics I thought I had lost. I willed my limbs to move, and they did. So I made my escape. I needed to find you. I needed to bring you back here to be with me. And the guards, well, they tried to stop me, to keep me from finding you, to keep me trapped in this never-ending loop but I stopped them. I followed the sound of your heart. I don't know how I could hear it. I only know that I could. Calling me, crying out for me, even if you didn't know it yet. And I found you. But instead of the embrace I was sure I would find, 
I found you in the arms of another, misguided, poisoned by her, blinded. Nothing would keep me from you. I had to do it, don't you see? I didn't want to hurt her. I really didn't. But she was trying to take you from me. To ruin what we have. See, a love like ours, my darling, it's the kind of love that reaches across time and space and never, ever fades. I've been waiting for you all my life. And then some. Please forgive me and understand I did this for you, for us, for our future. I love you so much. It makes me crazy. <laughs> and I know you love me too. You're the first person to ever really see me. I'm sure you're still confused. So, I'm going to remove the blindfold now. But you must promise not to be afraid. Not to struggle. The bandages around your wrists and ankles are only there to make sure that you would listen to me from beginning to end. Hold still, my darling. Open your eyes. Look at me, my love. Look at me again. I... Stop struggling. It's me. The girl you saw. I know. I look a little different. The bandages wrapped around my body might be a little shocking, but as I said, I've been waiting a very long time for someone like you. You might even say a lifetime. Which is why I can't let you go. Don't you see, darling? We're meant to be. No matter how far apart we were in time, we found each other. I'll do anything, anything, to keep you with me. Forever. Shush, shush, my love. Don't you want to join me in eternity? I know you do. I know you love me as much as I love you. So, hold still. I promise this part won't hurt. I would never hurt you unnecessarily. But sometimes we must go to extremes for the one we love. And when you looked up at me during your trip to the museum, I knew you saw me for who I really am. And I saw you too. You're staying here with me forever. We'll have each other. We don't need anything else. No one can love you the way that I can. No one needs you the way that I do. So let me help you. Make you like me. So we won't ever be alone again. <laughs> See how much closer to life being around you has brought me? How soft and sweet my mouth is, even after all these years, we were destined to find each other. And I'll stop anyone who gets in our way. Like I stopped the girl who turned your eyes away from me, I rescued you from her. I'm the one you're meant to be with. Now, let me finish these bandages. <laughs> I promise you, darling, we're going to have plenty of time to talk. <laughs> huh.